Oh hi, thanks for watching my video and welcome to part two of the parent scenario, parenting predicaments. So my children are all grown up, they're in their teenage years now, I've just changed their style, hope you like it. Yet this scenario turned out to be pretty much an entire gameplay playthrough. We've gone through quite a journey already to get to where we are and I assume the next phase will be to complete these two's full aspirations. So we've got Leonardo here who has the Drama Llama aspiration and then we have Sophia who has the goal oriented aspiration. So she needs to join an after school activity and do homework five times. Well let's just get a part time job and an after school activity because I have a feeling you need both to complete this aspiration assuming I have to complete it. So let's join the cheer team and then for a job maybe we'll just be a babysitter? Oh, okay, apparently I can't do both at the same time. I can't be a cheerleader and a babysitter. I'm guessing the times conflict. So maybe instead we will be a streamer? Yeah, we'll go for the streamer side hustle. Right, kids, do your homework. You know the drill. For some reason it says choose a teenage aspiration for Leonardo and complete the first level, but it doesn't say that for Sophia, and I'm not too sure why. Oh, you guys don't have school for 24 hours. Okay, I guess it's because they just aged up, maybe. Well then, Leo, it sounds like you need to get your gossip on. Stop crying over your forgotten birthday, okay? I had no control over that. You just decided to age up. I'm just gonna get him to do all the gossiping with his sister. Spread rumors about woohoo. Well, Leo has to find a way to mess around in the cuddle carts, so he's gonna have to go to maybe to the pier, see if we can take some selfies with another teen. So you know what, Leo, we're gonna go on a little trip. Maybe we'll take Sophia with us, why not? We'll head to the pier and see if we can find someone to mess around with in the cuddle carts. I guess the problem is we have the day off school, so it's like we're hanging around on a fairground during school hours, so we're not really likely to see another teen here, are we? I mean, we could see if Sydney wants to hang out over here. Oh, Sydney Price will be right over, okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to get her to practice cheerleading and then you, Leonardo, can put your moves on Sydney. Here he is. Beautiful. Right, let's see if we could take a picture with him. Take photos with. Hopefully that bug still hasn't been fixed. That one can go in the bedroom. Oh, sweet, the bug hasn't been fixed. Instant best friends. All right, so let's try and get him in a playful mood. And then maybe we'll ask him about his mess around interests, just to make sure we're barking up the right tree. Women and men, okay, perfect, perfect. Well, Sydney, have I got a treat for you. Cheeky bit of flirting. How are you getting on with your cheerleading? Impressive how you can just get your feet through the mat like that. Very impressive indeed. Oh, things are getting pretty flirty over here. I think we'll go in for just a little kiss. Oh, that's right, that's right. No, don't go, don't go, don't leave. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh wait, he's stopping. Is he stopping so I can ask him to mess around? I think it's kind of harsh for you to literally cycle away, Sydney, and then I have to chase you on my feet. It's a bit out of order, mate. Right, let's ask him to be our boyfriend and then we'll go mess around with Sydney. Sydney, wait up. Why are you just standing there? I don't understand why you're not moving. What is wrong with you? Why? Why are you just standing there, man? Well, Sydney's not at school right now because it's the afternoon. Oh, maybe he's at his after school activity. Well, at least you're doing well. Okay, apparently Sydney's here. So let's see if he wants to go mess around and then we'll ask him if he wants to be our boyfriend. Hey, Sid. Uh, you seem to be walking on your own. I don't see him following you. Is he coming? Oh yeah, he was just lagging behind a little bit. All right, boys, you have fun. We just made money. Okay, now I have to break up with a sim and be mean on social bunny five times. Okay. Well, this hasn't updated. Okay, fine. Fuck it. Let's, um, let's ask Sydney to be our boyfriend. Maybe this hasn't completed because I still need to complete Sophia's first aspiration, even though it's not on there. Either that or, um, the scenario's broken. Right, kiddos. Let's head home. I think that was a very productive trip to the pier. Time to go. All right, let's just take care of your needs quickly. And then we'll start working on Sophia's aspiration, which I don't think she's gonna complete for a while because she has to do homework five times. 
Well, Leo, while your sister's working on her side hustle, how about we go be mean to people on Social Bunny? We'll send a mean message to our sister, and we'll also send a mean message to our dad. And maybe, maybe we'll send one to our mum as well. There we go. Beautiful. Wait, how is she already at video game streamer level 2? She only just got this job. Oh well, I guess I'm not going to question it. Seems strange, but okay. This kind of feels a bit like uh, Sims Life Stories, only without the drama or playful dialogue. This is like the vanilla ice cream version. Well, I'm not really going to be able to do much until Sophia does her homework five times. She's done it once. It's currently Thursday. So by the time she even completes the first level of her aspiration, it's going to be Tuesday. Oh, and I guess she's going to work. Have a great day. Make sure you work hard. I feel like this scenario has a lot to do, and I do kind of appreciate that. It's a lot more involved than other scenarios. However, I'm not really enjoying it that much because it kind of feels like a bit of a... I don't know, like it's just relying on existing gameplay, which I guess isn't a problem, but it's just doesn't really feel like much of a challenge. Just do this aspiration, okay, now do this aspiration. I really liked the new in town scenario and I really liked the stuck in their shadow scenario because they just felt a bit more storyline based. But I don't know, there's something about this one. I don't feel very connected to the characters, I just feel like I'm going through the motions. If you've done this scenario before, I would love to know what your thoughts are on it. Maybe I'm just too impatient, maybe that's my problem. I like to do challenges in a short space of time because to me that feels like more of a challenge than doing something that is like a two second task but I have to do it over the space of like two sim weeks. That seems more tedious than fun to me. All right, shitheads, well, I guess you've got school soon, but not before we post something mean on Social Bunny. Who can we message? Let's send a message to Sophia, a mean one. There we go. I also feel like I need to hold off on completing Leonardo's aspiration until we at least do the first step of Sophia's. So I'm not going to bother going to school with them until we're, like, towards the end of hers. Yeah, send all students alone. Have a great day at school, kids. Try not to vandalise anything. Do your parents proud. Oh, that's my boo. Do you want to go on a date? Uh, no, i got to do my homework. I think the dad might be sick or something. Yeah, he's got all scales going on on his skin. Well, even more reason for you kids to buckle down. Your dad's probably going to be dead soon. You need to support your single mum. Oh, don't do that, dad. Don't try and have a conversation with me. Don't try and be relatable. I don't need to have the talk, okay? You just worry about your own problems. I do my homework and you worry about your failing marriage. When was the last time you and mum even kissed? Give me advice. Fuck you. Perhaps that might have been a disproportionate response. Right, you, Sophia, you have a lot to do. You gotta do your homework, you gotta practice on your cheer mat, although you do have four days. So actually, I wouldn't worry too much about that. But you do have to do a live stream and work on your entrepreneurial and video gaming skill. Loving the new hair, mum. Going through a midlife crisis or something? Or are you just having an affair? Okay, let's do some um, side hustle stuff. Oh, for fuck's sake, these sims. Constantly taking over the computer. Just lock that PC. Are you playing the sims? So you guys are watching me, watching her play the sims. I should probably get you a cheer mat. Right, how can we build this entrepreneurial skill? Oh, she's almost at level three. So if she gets to entrepreneur level three, that means she can write a business plan, doesn't it? Yes! Oh, that's right, achievement kid. You're like a little entrepreneur. She's got a lot on her shoulders, Sophia. She needs to have an A grade, be top in her after school activity, top in her side hustle. And all you had to do was bitch about people and shag someone in a fairground ride. Well, it looks like Sophia's going to come home with a promotion today for her video gaming, her live streaming career, which is great. We don't really need to worry about cheerleading because we have a while before we have to do that. But she might, at a push, come back with a B grade. I don't think she will, but she might. Okay, so the girl is coming back with a B. That's good news. I hope the extra credit work counts as another load of homework. Right, you guys, you worked very hard. 
It's currently Friday afternoon. We're not really going to progress any further in this scenario at this point. So why don't you just enjoy your weekend? Go crazy. Leo, I see Sidders is here. Maybe you two could have a sleepover. I don't know. Just enjoy your weekend, all right? And I'll see you Monday morning. Bye-bye. Get up, you lazy bitch. It's time to go to work. Happy Monday. So I don't want to be presumptuous, but I'm expecting a promotion today. She's got all of her skills. She's done her little live stream. I'm expecting that we should be in the money today. Hey, promoted to pro gamer. Sweet success. Right, kids, have a great day at school. Okay, so Sophia has cheerleading in a few minutes, but when she gets back, I can get her to do her homework. We might complete this stage of the aspiration if extra credit work counts as homework. <gasps> yes! Promoted to cheerleading team, mate. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, brilliant. Right, go and do your homework then. Oh, look at the look on that teddy bear's face. He's so sad. Stop being such a little prick. Okay, here's the test. Does extra credit count as homework? No, it doesn't count. Ah, oh, bollocks. Just two men doing men things. You guys are so lame. You know that's not gonna make your wife fancy you anymore, right? Because that ship has sailed. You're just sitting alone watching cartoons, are you? What's going on, Pablo? I feel like we don't really talk a lot. What's, what's going on? You having a breakdown? Little daddy breakdown for you? You don't want to talk, huh? All right, well, you just suppress all that then, buddy. Oh, yeah, we are getting an A today. The boy probably isn't, but give it one more day. He'll be an A student. Okay, home from school. She's an A-grade student, and hopefully we should be able to finish up our first level of our aspiration. And that should trigger this part of the scenario to move on. If it doesn't, then I may be out of ideas. The drop-off has been made. Don't be late. Just hang up. Don't even question it. Don't have time for this nonsense. Oh, come on, Sophia. I'm waited with bated breath. Just finish your homework so I can see if this scenario can continue. Well, the game doesn't seem to recognise that she has finished her homework, which is just perfect. Of course, the game glitches out just at a point where I need her to do something. Of course that's going to happen. So, Sophia, I guess you're just going to be doing your homework all night long then. Yeah, I guess we're really doing this then. We, we're really just going to be doing our homework all night long. And the game's not even going to register she's done her homework. So it says her homework is only 75% done, uh, despite doing it for about seven hours. That has really pissed me off. I wonder if the scenario has just completely broken and like broken the gameplay that goes with it, maybe. All right, let today be the day. If she just does her homework infinitely again, I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to call it a day because something along the line has gone tits up. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully she'll finish her homework, she'll achieve her aspiration, and then the parenting predicament sentiment will move on to the next section. Okay, almost done. Oh, yes! Well, good news and bad news, it seems. She's completed the first level of her aspiration, and yet, and yet, the scenario has not moved on. I wonder maybe if I go to Manage Worlds and come back in, just to, just to check if it resets itself. All right, come on, scenario. Don't be a pile of wank at the last hurdle. I feel like I'm so close to completing it. Oh no, it hasn't reset, it hasn't changed. Oh well, <laughs> you gotta laugh. I mean, what was it, 10 hours of my life? In fairness, I don't actually think the scenario itself is broken because I wanted to see how long this would go on for. And I know that some people have got further than I have. And some people have even completed it. But for me, it looks like it's um, broken. And I'm kind of out of ideas now. I mean, that is perhaps one downside to having a scenario that is so long, is that you get so far into it. And then if it breaks, which in this case it has, it's kind of devastating. <laughs> so I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll never know how this scenario ends. But you know what? I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. 
If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.